so within your experience or working which of the topics uh, you have used in banking or real time or which of the things are you like right now able to get up on should you to code or use this syntax or no yeah so in my past experience yes i have used lot of functions basic functions that uh, you know so as you already said sir that uh, we do not need to create databases so all of those methods like list input and everything uh, have not much worked upon them only when uh, input file were in different format like let's say if it's a csv and we have to get it imported into uh, sas at that time a little bit uh, you know we have to use uh, those create uh, data sets uh, methods but other than that um, it's not much used and uh, character functions whichever basic we have uh, gone through everything i think um, mostly scan substr uh, these thing uh, we have used a lot Uh, length and uh, in case of uh, numeric and character functions also uh, mostly some function uh, int ck or the date part because uh, uh, data comes in different formats and everything so the formatting purpose uh, uh, that was uh, used a lot so i think we have very much covered you know uh, the function there are a lot many i mean like in sas you will have lot of options but basically what we have covered is the most they are the most used functions all the basic ones rather we have covered even more than that so shraddha would you like to share a little bit about you and uh, like how you started your journey in banking basically uh, my education is in i'm from a mechanical background and uh, you know after uh, you know i was in college like you know 10 12 years back then um, there were recession and everything so whatever uh, you know first job uh, that i uh, got from uh, my college campus so i grabbed it and uh, eventually it was an it job uh, although i completed uh, my masters into um, mechanical engineering so that's how i landed up in it and, and then the one more speaking, question like uh, yeah. now we have let's go little let's explore little bit more now yeah. we know all the students are different from each other some are talented some are you know mm-hmm. even if not talented they give more effort So if you right, have right. to rate yourself like from the beginning you are performing well in your education or how it was you are active in on those things Yeah so even I would like to uh, you know really tell this till my 10th and 12th standard I was you know very good at academics between the first second and third rankers in my class but gradually I don't know how you know things uh, went way off and then when i entered engineering and everything um you know i, I was a little bit uh, away from all of this and you know studying was very difficult for me but i'll tell you the true story i just landed up in engineering first year and i failed i just failed the first year uh, you know in four subjects and those mm-hmm. were um, m1 m2 and uh, em and ed so the toughest mm-hmm. four uh, mm-hmm. papers i failed into and i was totally uh, devastated at that time that you know and my parents were everything that you know we've tried so hard and this and that and what you're doing in uh, your college mm-hmm. and everything so all of that happened but then uh, somehow i gathered all my courage and now that i know that i have to do this i've put all my effort into it i cleared all my four subjects uh you know at a time and meantime i entered into mechanical engineering uh you know third sem and i've cleared that also and uh, uh see i mean being uh, you know naturally talented and um, you are god gifted like you know you have a lot of uh, iq you can understand things very well and everything that is a different part but what can make you different is how much effort do you put how how much consistent you are so i really worked hard at that time and you know Uh, at the end of my engineering uh, years, uh, one of the toppers there as well. I've cleared all my subjects, and I topped also into uh, you know the other uh, subjects that I have for that sem and in the final years also. So I was one of the toppers there. Again, I prepared for uh, uh, you know the entrance test for uh, M Tech. There also I got uh, you know admission into an NIT. So NIT was also very difficult for me because you know there were very uh, B Tech students were like. very very talented and uh, uh, they they had lot of knowledge so uh, beating them also at that time also was you know very difficult um, and uh, entering an nit was uh, i mean was a 
मच इजियर जॉब देन सस्टेनिंग इन टू एन एन आई सो वहाँ के बच्चों के साथ कंपेरिजन और ये जब आप एक अलग बैकग्राउंड से आते हो दैट बिकम्स वेरी डिफिकल्ट एंड उसके बाद ऑल्सो द स्ट्रगल डेंट स्टॉप uh you have to appear for lot of interviews you have to prepare there and then um gd sessions and everything so and i was into a different altogether a different um, you know engineering ka line mera kuch alag hi tha mechanical sir so i was more into design and everything so i've learned lot of uh, you know designing uh, uh, softwares as well at that time like uh, pro e nx catia and everything i've learned but then eventually i landed up into uh, an it firm so that's how and then after i've started working there then um, gradually they uh, taught me and uh, you know uh, sas and everything and then i thought that you know whatever engineering and everything i have learned has okay. gone so into Shalda, everything yeah one more question yes sir so, yes sir jo aapka campus placement hua tha so mm-hmm. uh, the same company have taught you sas oh yes they have actually training uh, kuch alag hua tha but uh, you know they have uh, in the training they have taught me informatica uh, and other basic languages and other thing mm-hmm. then I, when i landed into the project mm-hmm. then actually i started learning uh, sas in there and then from then onwards now for 12 years i'm just uh, you mm-hmm. know working into sas only okay. and plus other uh, applications okay. now shraddha like within these are uh, 12 years how was your journey in sas like in the beginning what you are doing more now in the mid what you have learned during the journey or what you felt that that was a change shift in see in the same software but uh, the responsibilities got changed or you are doing something else and now what do you feel like is the same thing you are doing from that time to this time or something got changed uh no there were a lot of changes you know when you start working and then when you uh, once you have uh, you know gained a little bit of uh, knowledge or experience so at the start they would give me you know small uh, small stuff to do like you know um, find out a bug here in this code and uh, so what happens is um, actual development of the uh, code these are legacy processes like you know year old processes you will get the code already written but then you have to make sure that you know if you have a code written um, how you can optimize that code like you know if you can lessen the number of uh, code lines and by optimization i mean if if it takes 3 hours to run can you optimize it to a level that it can run in half an hour 15 20 minutes so that your report gets generated so i have worked with lot of uh, insurance companies um uh, uh, you know in my 12 years of experience whether it's healthcare insurance or um you know personal and other kind of uh, general insurance also so uh, quarterly reports were there monthly reports were there weekly and you know daily reports as well so there is a specific time all of this runs along with sas you will have to have a little bit of experience of you know different kind of schedulers and um, uh, how you can uh, schedule a code where to see the logs so sometimes if you're um, if you have automated process then uh, log is saved at a particular location how to uh, debug how to uh, see um, input is coming in so if the input is different obviously there will be a change in the output and how the user wants the output into uh, like a pdf format or what whatever format he wants so sometimes there is a change in requirement also so right from taking the requirement to understanding it to how to implement and uh, you know finally testing it into lower environments then um, you know again take it up to the production environment testing it there and then generate the reports compare it um, present a comparison report and everything in it you know you have to prove it in you know numbers and you always have to have some kind of uh, you know report or something that give that you have to give mm. to uh, others so that mm. is a uh, thing uh, wherever you work you have to keep the, your documentation up to date so this is what happens and uh, gradually as you grow up uh, with experience you'll get expert is automatically and then uh, you know if you're doing the same thing over again uh, you'll come to know mm-hmm. that you know even uh, even if, even if you do not look at the code you can from the log you can make out ha huh, this is the error and uh, where you need to change and everything so that comes with you know the experience you get but always remember that you know even if you make mistakes try not to repeat the same kind of mistakes learn from those mistakes and correct them and try not repeat them so that is how you learn I mean, not even in sas or this software but like you know it's applicable everywhere so here i like totally agree with some of the points guys mentioned by shraddha you know even in my diploma i got detained you know and uh, detained means i think as having four or 
more than that it is i got detained and then you know the face of my life totally got changed then i decided okay i need to work on these things and uh, finally focused and i passed in all the subjects including the regular semester and what i found like in a longer perspective the people who have was like getting a good rank with 80 90% and uh, for me the people who was not so much focused at the particular moment then started trying focusing even at the end like after completion of my college till the time i didn't focus much you know this is now this is not how the actual life works or the corporate works or your you know career growth works the actual thing is like uh, if you want like a good career then what you are actually doing for the career it's not about what you are actually doing in your but right now it is unconnected i feel that because still there is a huge gap between the education you do in your college and the knowledge which is required by the industry now a lot of colleges are trying to fill that's why your college education become the college education only and even because i know some of my friends who are doing very great they were the ranking they are giving good hours and for them they started the job early they got the opportunity most of them i started the job after i think one and a half year maybe and they have started before one and a half year when i started but when i started and after one year my growth was totally different the growth they were having so the growth they were having after 4 to 5 years i got within 1 to 2 years so it is not only about you know how much you have focused in your education that shows that yeah you are like a great person and if someone you are getting you are respecting it and you are doing it in a great way that shows your consistency uh, no one gets good score without putting efforts right it shows that you are putting good effort but putting efforts in one direction only without knowing or without having the clarity that what the actual market is for me the struggle the real struggle was when i moved to the corporate world or getting into the corporate or getting into something good but the best part is like what i found guys the people who are actually growing more in you know in their career or anything they are actually the people who are trying more or you know always be open to learn you can take an example of shraddha here let's talk about real time things she is having like almost a good salary and she is having a good thing a good role till she is like uh, like after having this this much experience still she is exploring and learning more this shows why she is here it's, so it's not about how much effort you put it in your college and that going to decide your career after like what you going to do after 30 years every time you have to prove yourself every time it's not for like proving but every time you have to try out something to become the best version for tomorrow so exploring even i am from different fields so exploring what i feel that is very much important at every phase of life you know sometimes people tell that this will replace this this will replace this of course there will be something that gonna replace something for sure don't you think that with time you're gonna improve or learn new things and why we feel like with time like we change our clothes right we have money we change home as well we bought new things phone as well but in terms of skills we think like that should be the same and that is what the problem is if we have to learn more little bit like let's suppose a example of saas versus r so we start having the fear being a consumer we love to have new product or try out new products if we can afford but being an creator like you are the creator for like let's suppose if you are into this learning part so you are creating the things for you by learning it being a creator you have the fear like should i try this or this gonna replace this but being a consumer you love it but when someone else is creating for you when you have to create it you start getting the fear and this should not be the case you should enjoy the journey nothing can replace you if you are a learner everything can replace you if you got if you got too much happy in your life and started enjoying if something you are doing it today or something great you are doing this year so you can uncash it maybe for the coming 5 10 20 years but within those 5 10 20 years you have to acquire something more and that is what the i feel the actual way of understanding there can be more technical thing this is what i feel an overview of now shraddha the next question i'm having from you like at some stage uh, okay we all have this sometimes we feel satisfied and sometimes we feel unsatisfied i i would like to know from your end that you have worked in this role and what do you feel like with the salary or the growth you are having uh, what do you feel that is it fine or you feel like okay a little more or <laughs> yeah so so i mean um, like more is always welcomed as you say but then yeah. uh, there is a um, you know a specific 
uh, what you can say a range a range mm-hmm. for unless and until you are like you know extremely above the level or you know exceptionally well in what you are doing then things might be different but mm-hmm. for a certain role and for a certain um, uh, you know uh, experience uh that you come in with there is a fixed range uh in mm-hmm. which you uh fit into and mm-hmm. uh, right now uh if you'll ask my personal experience as i have been um you know at times i have been into uh, a situation where you know i had some uh you know personal uh things like you know marriage and kid and everything mm-hmm. uh happening at the uh, same time at that time i took it a little uh slow and uh, with whatever i got i was like you know happy because i have to str- uh, strike a work life balance as soon as i thought that you know i am capable of earning more now i have asked for a raise and then i have jumped and moved into uh, you know other organizations where uh, they were ready to give me a good hike so within a span of 1 to years i've covered up for that you know 5 years of you know lean period that i have taken uh, for my personal thing so that is possible but just hopping uh, jobs it's also uh, you know not a not a very good thing just for the sake of money uh, sometimes you you know you have to strike that thing that well i would say in the you know learning years in the initial uh, years uh, money would not matter that much as you do not have that kind of liability so learning will be uh, an important aspect um as compared to um you know what you are earning and then as you gain your knowledge and uh, you know hone your skills then you can ask for more money but yeah i mean do a market research but because you know uh, for everything around there is a, a certain kind of a fixed rate you can say that uh, you know it's different with different companies also uh, you know if you're working with uh, multinational uh this thing and uh if you're going for um, uh more um you know product based companies uh they'll uh, offer you much higher than uh, what a service based company will offer you but accordingly they'll um, you know make sure that you work those many hours and you put uh, you know that kind of hard work to uh, you know get that money so uh, if there's a difference in the pay obviously there will be a difference in the kind of effort you put also and shadda like this is something out of the box yeah. so what do you feel about your life uh, like if you compare the time you have completed your education and the time you are like living like the current time do you feel that what you wanted from your life uh, at least in terms of the career thing or what you are doing you are happy with it or like now there yeah. is out of the box that you could have tried something else uh, yeah so i always uh, you know whenever i look back i think whatever i have done was correct for that point in time because you know when i uh, just passed out um, i had the option to take job or um, i was not given much of the time from my family to you know uh, explore into other things like uh, you know uh, the competitive exams and other thing they would not have given me that much of time because you know uh, for like specifically for girls you know they started looking for uh, a better match and uh, you know get married so i wanted to have a career and you know so uh, this job taking up this job was also a part of it that you know i have to move away uh from all of this and you know start my career so i've taken up the job that i got but then um uh i was uh, as i told you that i've done a lot of designing courses into uh here in uh, in the mechanical background so i wanted to explore uh more into that so that was my aspiration i i am more into i'm more of a you know artistic kind of a person so mm-hmm. i love singing i i the painting also doing painting and all of this stuff so i i sometime uh, you know looking back just um, but i i took it up as a hobby now and you know uh, do things uh, here and there but uh, uh, so they say if you, if you do not uh, get what you love to do love what you are doing currently so that's what i and started loving the uh, way uh, uh, you know how coding works and everything and then gradually i developed interest in uh, you know saas language and you know how things work here so it worked that way uh, uh, for me but now when i uh, when i see and uh, look back and see all my career graph i think i've i've, I've done uh, pretty well uh, even if even though i say that you know um, mm-hmm. this was not by choice mm-hmm. uh, but still um, came a long way i guess so shadda one more thing like if you have to 
if you got an opportunity to choose uh, one thing that uh, like that you love to do uh, for long so what would be that like you have told that related to artist or something singing or yeah. those things <laughs> If you got maybe, an opportunity, see what it could be. Yeah, maybe a professional singer or something. I would be. Okay, so have you ever tried uh, this? Like uh, I had started a little bit of uh, you know classical uh, singing, mm-hmm. but then because of job and everything, I was not able to continue. I still um, mm-hmm. you know uh, tried mm-hmm. taking classes and um, everything for myself, but then was not able to uh, continue because uh, for you know a lot of other responsibilities so guys here i'll share you in insights like you know this will be a phase that will come to you all who are attending this session everyone who sta- who is starting his journey into corporates and especially for you know this dream jobs or hyping jobs there will be time something is missing and that something is missing not that that will be not related to career growth only or money that is something uh, you'll feel a vibe that something you'll feel missing and you'll feel that you're not enjoying but what being a mature person or being an overall on this like in this world we are living right along with the responsibilities it will tell you that cooperate with the things and let's move on and uh, recently my sister she got married if you know and uh, we have cancelled sessions are she is getting good salary okay and she is getting an offer good offer as well already she is having good salary okay but she wanted to quit his job because she wanted to pursue singing i told her that you can try it first along with your job even she started the classes like what Shraddha was also sharing. But she was telling I was unable to focus and to leave. Somehow things are going. So she is still working and she is trying to focus. This will be a stage that will come in your life. So what I what I feel, guys, even it came to me that there was a time I was struggling to get a job. There was a time I was struggling to even pass in my exams. There was a time I was like I started talking to myself. asking question that what is happening in my life because there was a point i started thinking that he was god is not un- answering my question i was asking questions because i was going through those things but those one two years uh, the struggle was tough after those one two years i started getting everything because of the tough situation it made me tough that i can take tougher decision more tough decision so finally i decided that i am to try something something out of the box i got the confidence somehow i'll tell you guys the day i decided that i am to do something else my sister like my sister like she was almost she was crying why because she was thinking that what i am going to do in life because they have seen me in the struggle time that even i was not good at the things right in my life i was not like a topper or someone that who going to take care of the things right now the day is that even she want to do something else in his life so this is a stage after money this is a stage that gonna this this is gonna be a phase in your life so what i suggest to all guys along with the focus on your career once you get into a good career you should focus i feel what you are doing in your life in the coming 10 years okay that is fine but from the beginning of your career once you get into something once like first you to focus on your career and get something stable and then you should also ask yourself that what is something special in me apart from my name apart from my career apart from the salary i am getting what is something i love to do and i can spend this teaching thing if i get an opportunity i can teach till the night 12 or 1 if it, if i don't have something up to that but in the corporate being working in the corporate if they ask me even to work one or two hours i start feeling something else guys that is the truth I started feeling that okay, this is not something I love to do. Then I gradually found that it was not about the work, but it was about the way I am doing. I wanted to do the things in my way. I found out this teaching thing is something which I love to do, and then I tried. I have taken the risk. Yeah, th- there are multiple stages in life. So if I I feel that if I can do something in life, if not. I know that is not great. There are great people in the world, you know, big examples. And you know, sometimes if you are enjoying a lot in your life with friends, family, with your loved ones, then you need to think once that if a career is not good 
and you are enjoying everything else and even you if you don't if you don't know what is your true nature what you want to do in long time then you have to first focus on yourself separate yourself from everyone else you know the time i have grown much in my life that was the time that i have seen the world that this world is not for me and that these people are not for me i got separated from everything else because once you don't have anything you see the true colors the world is all about give and take but i feel now i have started enjoying my life instead of again focusing and I think this is a comfort trap. At least I'm having the sense of understanding and slowly I'm working on that. So these are the stages. You don't think in that way that everyone is perfect. The people who are working in corporates with big salaries or higher uh, roles, manager, director, they are having something special. They have built their self with time. They didn't become the director, VP or manager or the knowledge they carry, um, you know, in one day. I didn't bond with that. I feel the people who do great in their life are the people who are constantly trying something or figuring out something or making some changes in their life. It's not the people who are born with the talent. The people who are born with the talent, it can be the specific, but the time is something changing. Figuring out in life is something that is bigger than anything. And struggle is something your real friend. The actual growth I had in my life that was struggling time only. And after that, I feel that I'm just enjoying. So whenever you have some tough time or whenever you feel that you are struggling, so actually behind the scene you are growing, you know, God is trying to take you to the next level, to make you better or to make you deserving for whatever you are trying to. So if you face difficulty, it means things gonna change. As a human, you don't know when the things gonna change, right? How much time it gonna take? What is next? You have the certain limit of knowledge. So yeah, patience is very much important. Improving yourself is very much important. And I feel along with time that figuring out yourself is very much important. Apart from the career, you need to figure out one good career, improving your skills with time in that career. Like if that job is good, if that role is good. Along with that, like what Shraddha shared, she loved the singing and other parts. So. You should also try it from the beginning itself. It's not like you should leave your job the next year. You should try it from the beginning. Yeah, so that's all from my end. Shraddha, would you like to conclude something or share something from your end? You know, there will be a very uh, generic kind of a thing. Not, uh, you know, I'll never say that. Uh, I mean, let's say a career advice or something. But yeah, whatever you do, put your heart and soul into it if you have you have you're taking up um, you know you have actually taken a very good step by learning SAS as this uh, as a first step so learn it thoroughly um, you know and uh, uh, put all your efforts try to understand why you're doing it just do not do it just for the sake of it but uh, have some understanding of the basics and if you have that understanding um, obviously it will be seen the kind of work you do because the corporate world you have been you always have been you know you get identified by the kind of work you do if you want to uh, you know stand ahead you know a different different in the crowd then the work only is the identifier i can say which will uh, you know make you different from others so mm, that's that's correct shraddha so yeah guys uh, whatever you are doing like you should put your 100% or try to put it and because you know if you are spending your time on that if you are not feeling interested or you know you're not focusing on it it is like a waste of time or months or maybe whatever output you want you might not get or it might take more time until unless you focus on it actually so guys that's all for today 